Hey guys, I proudly present to you, Dino Eater. An original series where dinosaurs will be rated from 0 to 100%. In today's video of Dino Eater, we'll be looking at the Giganotosaurus, one of the largest apex predators in all of Dinosaur Arcade. Now at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing the rating out of 100%, which will be shown across this tier list. As you can see, there is five different tiers, S, A, B, C, and D. Now for this series, I'm going to be avoiding rebirth cards. I don't want to talk about them. I want to talk about just the base dinosaurs, as rebirth cards can make considerable differences for a dinosaur and how broken it is. Although I will recommend a rebirth card set, however that is not going to influence the rating at the end of the video. Now when it comes to the Giganotosaurus' stats, they're quite significant compared to majority of the dinosaurs in game. 585 health, 31 damage, 20 armor, and 17 speed. Now the Giganotosaurus dominates majority of dinosaurs with its impressive speed and bleed compared to other predators such as the Tyrannosaurus Rex, making it one of the most powerful dinosaurs in Dinosaur Arcade. However, the question that arises is, is this good enough? Now the first ability for the Giganotosaurus is Savage Charge, which is arguably its best ability. When you're sprinting and you use this ability, over a period of 2 seconds you'll gain 25% speed and invincibility. Now the reason why this is arguably its best ability is it allows you to catch up to dinosaurs that are typically faster than the Giga. Now I can really see this ability going three ways. PvP, defense, and catch up. Now when you're in a fight and your dinosaur is just getting face tanked, you're allowed to use this ability to escape. If you're desperate to hunt down a dinosaur but they're ever so slightly faster than you, you're able to catch up to them. And if you're in a fight and you're just getting constantly smashed, you're able to use this ability to assist you in dodging. it comes to the Giganotosaurus' second ability, Flesh Grazer, it's extremely effective in combinations whilst fighting a dinosaur. Lacerate through enemy flesh, dealing 31 damage, 100% base damage, and anyone hit receives a bleed, dealing 4 damage for 7 seconds. And lastly, the Giganotosaurus' third ability, Rend. Invalidate large health pools with a maiming bite, dealing 31 damage, and anyone hit receives a bleed, dealing 3% of their max HP damage for 3 seconds. The power of the Giganotosaurus primarily lies in the combination of both its second and third ability. The Giga possesses a bleed effect which, when inflicted, enables you to maintain a safe distance, using its first ability for speed, which is why the Giga is so dominant, as it gives you enough time to recover whilst the enemy drains health, allowing you to come back in the fight much stronger than before. Now before we get straight to what I rate the Giganotosaurus out of 100%, let's discuss its pros and cons. Now when it comes to the weaknesses for the Giganotosaurus, I think it's fair to say number one is other apex predators like the Tyrannosaurus rex, a Brachiosaurus, a Spinosaurus. It usually ends up in their favor as the Giganotosaurus doesn't have amazingly high damage compared to them. And when it comes to the Giganotosaurus's pros, it's easily its speed, which allows it to absolutely murder mid-tier dinosaurs. Now the moment you all have been waiting for. The official Dinometer score in today's video for the Giganotosaurus is 80%.
just scraping S tier. Now I want you all to comment down below what you want me to rate next time for Dino Meter. The most liked comment will be the chosen dinosaur and I'll be uploading it next week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, peace out yo.